welcome. We are here at Greenwood Cemetery in Brooklyn, New York. I wanted to set the mood for us as we enter October and Halloween approaches. So what better place to visit than a cemetery? <laughs> it's really beautiful here. Probably more spooky at night though. <laughs> So Greenwood Cemetery was actually built in 1838, which way before Prospect Park and Central Park, which I thought was pretty cool because you just assume that Central Park was like always there for like from the beginning of time. <laughs> Painter Jean-Michel Basquiat is buried here. He sadly died at the age of 27, but before that he had already sold like paintings from ten to twenty-five thousand dollars to the Whitney Museum, the MoMA, and collectors all by the time he was twenty-four. So I feel like he he might have had a short life, but he definitely had a very exciting one. <laughs> uh, and I really love that his headstone says artist on it. I think that's really cool. I'm just like, yeah, yeah you were. <laughs> Susan McKinney Stewart is actually buried here. She was the first black female doctor in New York State and only the third in the whole country at that time. She grew up in Weeksville, Brooklyn, which is now known as Crown Heights. This one has a book. You guys see it? It's a book, which is interesting. <laughs> it says in God we trust, so I'm guessing it's gonna be like the Bible what I think. The mob boss Albert Anastasia is buried here. He created Murder Inc which was a contract killing organization. He later became the head of the Gambino crime family but was later gunned down in the barbershop while he was waiting for his haircut. So unsuspecting. I feel like that's something out of a movie and that's probably where all the movies got it from. <laughs> uh, but that's a cool story. It's really peaceful here. I like it. I like how quiet it is and I like how much nature there is also. It's fun to walk around and look at the tombs and the mausoleums and the, just the names also are really interesting. <laughs> I only really know about this place because my best friend actually grew up a couple blocks from here um, and whenever I would visit her I would get off the train and pass by the cemetery on my way to her house so this place definitely makes me think about her she doesn't live in New York anymore she lives in Colorado it's her birthday today actually happy birthday Erin if you're watching this I love you <laughs> oh, it's really hot today I definitely should have worn like a different shirt. Where is the fall weather? Give me the fall weather. I've been waiting for to wear my jackets. I've been waiting for more pockets. <laughs> All right, guys. I think it's time to go eat. I am so hungry. I am so hungry. <laughs>
So apparently the 25th Street entrance closes at 7, which I did not know. Uh, I was at the 36th Street entrance, which closes at 5. And so you're probably on your best bet to come to this entrance. And it's also really beautiful. I think this is the main entrance. I just went to 36th Street because the express train goes there. And if I can take the express, I'll take the express. <laughs> but. I guess we could take a look around at this section of the cemetery. I'm probably going to go home after this, but I wanted to see this part of the cemetery as well. And it's also just really beautiful coming here when the sun is setting. Like, it's really nice. I want to do like a Halloween series like I talked about in my last video and this is episode one <laughs> we'll see how it comes out but I can finally use the horror sound effects you have no idea how long I've been wanting to use like the mystery the suspense and the horror like soundtrack on epidemic sound which is where I get my music from and I'm like oh my god finally finally <laughs> it just opens up more creative creativity <laughs> I don't, the only thing I don't like about this section of the cemetery is that it's a lot more crowded, which is fine, but you you, you have to put on your mask because it's more crowded and the other section by 36th Street was a little bit less, so you could walk around more freely. The pupusas was really good. I never had a pupusa before. Wait, hold on. Am I saying that right? Pupusa. 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 Please correct me if I said it wrong. <laughs> oh my god, there's so many people coming. I need to leave. <laughs> Alive people everywhere. No. <laughs> Alright, thank you for watching. Thanks for tuning in. And until next time, guys. I'll see you later. Bye. <laughs>